Hey, love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome into my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family. Just thank you so much for embracing the unknown, being able to leap out on the, on the, on faith. Taking a leap out on faith can really be scary, especially if you don't know where that road is going to lead you. So thank you for doing that. And you know, you never know. You might be surprised at the things that you find out towards the end of the road. So that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell so you know when your girl's about to upload her next video. Also, if you are comfortable enough, please drop me a line or two. I'll love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Even if it's about the positive feedback of the content in my video, or you're just up telling me about your impact, the gift, and how it impacted your life and heading you towards a positive direction. Also, if you feel like the video is gave you good vibes or just good information, you would love to share with a loved one, family, or friend, or even a fellow empath that are going through some really dark times right now. Uh, need confirmation and validation towards their life path please go ahead and share and while you're at it give me a thumbs up like and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit and thank you once again for the love and support that you've been giving me it's greatly appreciated and i love you from the bottom of my heart and i hope you're able to resonate with content of my video today i'm gonna turn this up i love these i've been picking some really good meditation music i've been trying to share with people that i know on uh facebook messenger you know being able to let them um uh, uh be able to feel the vibes too but i guess darkness is trying to block me from there because it keeps on saying my message is not sending so i don't know what's going on with that i know i had to change my password again so i don't know if that has something to do with it either so but um this uh meditation i'm using it's called 639 Hertz uh, Love Peace Miracles Heal Heart Chakra Pure Positive Positive Energy. And I will post that link in the description box below. And my video today is about Twin Flame 101. Hey, Okas, when universe blocks you from your past, so all you can do is move forward. Yes, it's just like when, you know, we, we learn so much from our past. And it's just like when it's time for us to close that chapter of our life, we really need to close the chapter of our life. You know, there's so many good blessings that are coming towards us, but we have to be able to let go of the past so we can be able to be grateful and welcome in for the future, being able to welcome all those good things that are coming in. And it's just like when we can, we've really been in some traumatizing experiences, it, it might be hard for you to let go, but when you can see all the positive impact uh, that that traumatic situation has brought to you towards your life, being able to see your strength, be able to see your wisdom, being able to see, you know, the gifts that came along the way from that pain. You know, it, it's just like you're reading a, a good book. Why keep reading the old past when you're trying to get ready to turn that page? You know, you should be able to welcome that in to your life, being able to know, hey, you know, I'm ready for these new things, but I know I need to let go of, uh, the past you know because the universe and god and whoever you worship they will block you from that you know they don't want you to keep on rereading the same things that has put you in the situation you got in the first place to make you feel hurt or dismayed or you you know used or whatever that you had to go through in your past you know it's just like your past is supposed to teach you but you don't want to keep dwelling on your past where it messes up your future i've had to learn that you know a few times learn it the hard way because when we don't stop the situations we're doing um they cause ourselves self-harm um the universe will put things in our path to let us know hey things need to change or we're going to change them for you and you don't want us to change it for you you don't want them to do that <laughs> because they will put things in the midst of your way it may feel like your life is crumbling down you know not because i've seen it happen i've seen it happen in my situation i've seen it happen in other people's situation i said what are the things you're not letting go of what are the things you keep dwelling on you know what are the things you can't make peace with you know and i know it's there are situations that are hard for you to make peace with trust me i know um i've been down that road you know there's sometimes my ego wants to bring back you know the situations that i've got hurt from um being able to really not you know i said okay i'll use that as, as an example but i really don't 
want to engage with it anymore because it's like that's my past but you know I'm being able to help somebody say okay these certain situations happen I really don't want to go into detail about it but you know it has helped me in so many different ways being able to see that yes you know what I went through was very dark very toxic very hurtful you know this could have gave me a mental breakdown which it did but I was able to bounce back from that being able to heal and letting it go you know because my it's just like with your your ego or you know just just the way you have been going for years at a time when you basically say you know what I've had enough um, I'm ready for new things to come in my life I'm ready to be happy I'm ready to have that freedom walk away from things that are no longer serving me it will put your body in shock you know and your your ego is like whoa what are you doing where why are you doing this you know this is not gonna work that's not gonna work you never know how long it's gonna take for you to get that you don't know how long it's gonna take you to get wherever you're trying to go for you know if there's things that you want in your life aiming for you have to be able to say you know what I'm done with this you know if I want better things in my life I have to be able to let go of the situations that kept me in that dark spot that had me in a sinking place you don't you don't need to stay there so it's just like you, you might there's indications for things that's coming in your life you'll have visions about it you'll have dreams about it you'll have daydreams about it they'll show you little snippets of things and those things you need to be grateful for because and you'll start seeing it around you you know if you want to get married all of a sudden you'll start seeing little love notes you know you might if you watch tv or whatever you'll see commercials of people falling in love or you'll hear about it on social media you know somebody's happy in their relationship or they're about to get married or they have gotten married you know all these different things that you know you want you will have this this energy flow towards you to give you indication these things are coming towards your life you just have to have faith you have to believe you have to be patient and keep doing things that will put you in the best version of yourself being able to rise your you know rise your you know rise up on your frequency make your vibes higher being able to do all these different things being able to know yes your past is your past but your past is all also gave you that milestone to step on that situation and allow yourself to grow being able to see these things is not really been you know something that you should dwell on like an eyesore or whatever but you can actually look and say you know what these things just happened to me but I can say I'm blessed these things happen because I wouldn't have been able to know who I truly was it never when you it, it, it's just like when something forces you into a really toxic situation you can either let it make you or break you and when you let it break you you know you're not gonna ever get out of that situation it's just gonna keep getting worse and worse and worse and worse no matter how bad you beg the universe and God to get you out of it it's up to you to make that first step if you want things to change you have to be that change you have to be willing to change how you respond to things change how your thought patterns refer to um, if you know the old memories start coming back just tell yourself don't engage in that don't even allow those emotions to affect you anymore just say yeah this is my past yes it happened but I'm not there anymore I don't live there anymore and the universe will make you do that you know will be able to see what you need to see make peace with it you know if there's people that you know wants to stay in your life but they they don't want you to change you need to be able to walk away you know some people you know when you go through a, a spiritual awakening people are worried about you thinking something wrong with you mentally or they're like oh you changed you're acting stuck up no it's just the fact is my vibes are higher I don't have time to be in into the nonsense and this lower 3d vibe that you keep on being in when I'm trying to rise above if they can't rise with you and they can't walk with you let them go allow them to be on their journey their your journey is not for them to understand God has placed you in a certain situation source creator universe has put you in a certain situation for you to be able to rise above all the BS being able to do all these things and just be able to see the beauty within everything that you have even when things you need to part with you can make peace part away with them with peace and love being able to say you know what this this situation has taught me so much but now it's time for me to make peace with it and part ways so when the universe is sending that towards you don't try to go back because they're blocking you from that don't be trying to open a door that they clearly locked on purpose from you when doors one door closes another one's about to open for you you just have to be patient but if you keep paying attention to that locked door you're going to miss the world you know you're going to miss the blessings that are coming on in your life 
where that door open, door could be slightly ajar for you. But if you're so busy looking this way while it's opening and you have looked this way for so long, that door was like, well, I guess they ain't trying to come in, so let me close it back. So you have to be able to be blessed with all the situations that came in your life, being able to make peace with it, being able to know the past is not where I live anymore. So let me go ahead and work for my future, do the things that makes me a better person, being able to love myself more, care about myself more. If you lost people along the way, know that you'll pick people up on your level. It, it's a blessing to be around people that are on the same frequency as you, being able to have those, you know, those conversations where they don't look stuck in like what the heck are you talking about you know are, are you okay you know people are not awake they're not going to be able to get you they're going to exceed their level of perception when it comes to that you know so being able to make peace with your past and know it is no longer serving you being able to use that as a gift that it helped you get your strength back it helped you learn a lot of different things and being able to help you embrace your gifts and being able to look forward to the unknown blessings that are coming your way so I hope you were able to resonate with the content of that video. I hope everybody had a blessed, blessed, safe weekend. I don't know why I always want to say blessed. Blessed, safe weekend. Like and subscribe. Drop me a line and let me know, you know, it, uh, how the universe has, you know, basically blocked you from your, uh, from your past. You know, let me know how you feel better about it. How do you look at that situation? You know, give me your, you know, your feedback on that. You know, whatever, whenever y'all you know, drop a, drop a line to me. I always try to make sure that I give you a post notification shout out on the next prior video. So share, give me a thumbs up, drop me a line, uh, like, and subscribe, even hit that notification bell. You know, you are truly blessed, highly favored, and forever loved, and knowing that you're always having somebody pray for your better days. So send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can. You never know where your kind words can really take distance to some, a person that's going through some things. So I will see you on my next video. I love y'all from the bottom of my heart. Peace. Be wild.